Society. Thanks for coming in, uh, Saeed. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for um, what is your role within the Society, Islam Society at the university? Uh, well, last year I was actually the president. I've been long-standing since I started university. I was always involved in the Islamic Society. Uh, I took over uh, uh, the role of president last year, and then I've stepped down just to step in as a volunteer at the moment, but I've been long-standing. Long I've always supported the Islamic Society in all of their events and activities that they've held. And so over how many years involved. have you been involved? Uh, it's been three years yeah. now since I've been okay. involved in the Islamic Society. Yeah, so, so you know, you know fairly well then, the whole yeah. structure, the whole, you know. Yeah, pretty much everything about it, yeah. So how are you raising awareness about Islam? Um, well, this week in particular, well, we hold Islamic Awareness Week uh, pretty much every year. And it gives us just an opportunity to go around on campus and just to start, just to induce some sort of discussion on campus about just us Muslims and just faith in general, about people's purpose in life and just other, just some of the neg negative stereotypes that some people have as well. So whether it be about the women, um, some of the punishments in Islam in regards to the social system or the economic system, just to clarify some of the things that um, a, lot, a lot of non-Muslims have about uh, Islam, just generally, that's the, that was the purpose of this week. And where do you think these negative perceptions stem from? Um, I'd say it's, it's quite endemic within uh, the country as a whole and uh, even from a government level as well because we see that even things like the EDL didn't really come about until uh, comments that Jack Straw made about the niqab and just government figures that who've come out and openly said, uh, who've, who've made statements about Islam that don't necessarily show, uh, show the true nature of it. So, for example, um, he came out. He spoke about the issue of the niqab, saying that it, um, it's an issue in terms of the communication between two individuals. That sparked it up, and people started to say that it was the oppression of women. But um, we, as Muslims, understand that we would see it as a liberation of women because they don't necessarily have to make themselves look in a particular manner for society to accept them. So, what do you yeah. think is the most negative perception people outside of the faith have about Islam? Well, it's definitely got to be, well, after September the 11th, it was probably the terrorist attacks and how we view non-Muslims just in general. Because a lot of people would say that we as Muslims wish that we would, um, well, basically kill everybody. So like, there's no other way of really putting it. That's generally the perception that a lot of people have. Like they'll take certain verses of the Quran and they'll take it out of context. And um, generally, and people have been playing off this for quite a while as well. Um, they've used it whether it be for self gains or just in general because they have something against Islam. So, yeah. Thank you very much. That's fine.